A definite machine is a finite state machine with order of definiteness mu such that mu is the least integer number uh, by knowing the mu number of inputs exactly we can determine the present state of the machine that means if mu is the order of definiteness you are given mu then the mu number of input symbols exactly determines the present state of the machine so mu is called the order of the definiteness to check whether a given finite state machine is a definite machine or not there are three different ways number one it's the synchronizing tree method number two is the contracted table method and number three is by using testing table and testing graph in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to check definiteness of a machine by using synchronizing tree and the contracted table method in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how to check definiteness by using a testing table and testing graph method so this is a given example uh, where we are given a finite state machine a b c d e these are the five states and on giving on given input as zero the state transits to either of a c or d as you can see these are the probable states for input zero and these are the probable states for input one when the input of length one that means either zero or one is given if zero is given then present state to go to either of these three states either a or c or d when zero is given now if one is given you can see that it's e and b only nothing else so if one is given the present state go could transit to either of b or e so at very beginning what we have is that this is at level zero while you build the tree synchronizing tree at level 0 you have a b c d e all the states because you are not giving any input so the length of the input is 0 at level 0 so it's 0 at level 0 length of the this is level 0 I'll be marking levels in this way and that will decide ultimately what's the definiteness order of the machine now if you provide 0 as input uh, there are two possibilities because the alphabet contains 0 or 1 so if you provide 0 as input so what happens it could go to either of a c or d otherwise it could go to either of b or d b or e i'm sorry so this is level z 1 so at level 1 that means with input of length 1 you could go to either of ACD or BE if 0 is supplied you come here if 1 is supplied you come here now on ACD check further now on A if you provide 0 it goes to D if you in C it could go to C, C it, it will remain in C and for D it goes to C that means for ACD when you supplying 0 it could go to either of D or C that means C or D so for ACD if someone supplies 0 that's the second input then it could go to either of C or D okay now if someone supplies 1 to ACD A goes to E and the other possibility is B so for A it is E for C it is B and for D it is also B so if someone supplies 0 ACD could transit to CD A C D A could transit to D C transits to C and D could to C for 1 it's E and B so for 1 it's E and B we write the earlier alphabet first so B E now for B E what happens here for B on 0 you are going to A so for B on 0 we are going to A and for B for E also we are going to A so it's only A for E what happens for E it's B for B it's B that means for 1 it's always going to B B or E both goes to B when we are providing 1 and B and E both goes to A when we are providing 0 so at level 2 what we are getting level 2 means please remember that we are supplying string of length 2 so at level 2 here we are getting leaf that means no uncertainty remains in this branch but uncertainty remains here 
so that means on ACD if you supply 0 you could go to either of C or D and on ACD if you supply 1 as the second input you could go to either of B or E now for C and D what happens on C if you supply 0 you go to C and if you supply 1 you go to B for D if you supply 0 you go to C so it's C and for D if you supply 1 you go to B so no uncertainty remains it's leaf again for B and E for B if you supply 0 for B if you supply 0 you go to A for E if you supply 0 you go to A so no uncertainty remains for E if you supply 0 you go to A if you supply 1 it goes to B it go to B uh, and for B as well it goes to B so it's B so at level 2 and level 3 I'm sorry everything is resolved that means if we supply string of length 2 sorry I'm sorry a string of length 3 then obviously we can reach a state definitely either it could be a b c or d so uh, either of these states a b or c so if we supply a string of length 3 definitely we can determine the present state of the machine so this is indeed a definite machine of order of definiteness 3 that means what you need to do is to check whether ultimately it goes to leaf or not if ultimately it goes to leaf then it is a definite machine if it doesn't go to leave then it is not a definite machine that means if there is something like this a b here and you cannot resolve for 0 or 1 you cannot go to a leave then it's not a definite machine so in this way by using synchronizing 3 you can check whether uh, a machine is a straight machine is a definite machine or not now there is one another way that's by using the contracted table method in contracted table method what you need to do is to look out for the equivalent the E goes to A and B for 0 and 1 so the uh, the transition of B and E are each other so what you can what we can do we can eliminate either of them so I am eliminating E and if we eliminate E for contracting the table just rewrite all the occurrences of E on the right hand side of the table with the retained state we have retained B so E has to be changed with B again we need to look for some more equivalent states here c and d are also equivalent because you can see that for c it is c and b for d it is c and b again so we can eliminate either of c and d so i'm eliminating this d so we are retained with c so all the occurrences of d has to be changed with c so we have done it uh, on the first step this is the step one you need to count the steps because that is ultimately going to give you the order of definiteness so after the first step we have contracted the tables by two rows so we are left with a b and c so here are the trans transition states for x is equal to 0 it is c and for 1 it is b for b it is a and b and for c it is c and b rewrite the table again now remember you cannot contract the changed by using the changed states because again you can see here i could have eliminated a and c in this step but don't do that already what you have use that information for eliminating the equivalent steps states now if you change any state if you do change if you change any state on the right hand side do not use the changed information for finding out the equivalent states as in the step one i have changed d with c and e with p i'm not using c b and c b as for 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 equivalency for for testing the equivalency between a and c i'll be doing that in the next step don't do that in the first step first on the first step what we have we have the information the given information on the basis of that i am eliminating the rows so here on the step two what i am doing here we can get that a and c are equivalent because a has this c b and this c also has this c b so i am eliminating this c and changing all the c's with a because between a and c we are retaining a so this is step two 
now I am not going to eliminate AB and BAB because I'm not going to eliminate A and B because we have changed the information here and I'm not, not going to use the change information in the current step it will be in the next step so in the next step what we have A with AB at X is equal to 0 at 1 it is B for B it is AB again now at this step we see that A and B both are equivalent because they are giving same state transitions so amongst these two we can retain only one i am eliminating b so i am just retaining a so all the occurrences of b will be changed with a so this is this has been changed with a so this is the final step so you are done now if you can come to this point that means you are left with only one state then you uh, then it is a definite machine so in order to find out whether a given finite state machine is a definite machine or not this could be one of the procedures now the number of steps through which you come to this point that means you are left with only one row after contraction after contraction of the table that's the count of uh, and that's the count of definiteness that means the order of definiteness mu is three in this case because it is one two and three steps so this is how we check out definiteness using contracted table methods in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how to do this using testing table and testing graph thank you very much